Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья! С вами Казуку Фэмили, и мы сегодня продолжаем проходить The Cat Lady, Госпожа Кошек. Сегодня финальный стрим. Присаживайтесь поудобней, а мы, в принципе, погнали. I asked you not to send me anything. I... I couldn't resist. You're all I can think of lately. It kills me that I can't see you. I would give anything. I'd better stop here. You know very well how I feel about you. А если кто помнит, это воспоминания Сьюзен. Ставьте чаечек, кофеечек, приглашайте друзей, а мы погнали. Так. I have a family now. I'm sorry, but I can't see you again. We've managed to patch things up with Eric, and there's Zoe. We have to try and make it work. Our daughter needs both her parents. So, yeah, I can't just run away with you. Life's not a film with Julia Roberts, you know? But sometimes doing crazy things can change your life for better. Do you really want to be that woman who in ten years' time realizes that she's wasted the best time of her life living with a man that she never loved? I... Look, I love my husband. I can take care of Zoe. I told you before. I'll be a good father to her, if you want. It doesn't work like that. You don't know anything about children. I'll learn. Give up? Honestly. I could never give up on you, Susan. Come on. Don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. Too complicated. I don't even know you that well. Look, I'm an honest man. What you see is what you get. We might not know each other that well, but you can't deny that there's this great chemistry between us. It's as if we were meant to be together. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah? When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? Yeah, I, I will. I mean, if I'm here. But now I really have to go. Bye. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Так, по-моему, если я не ошибаюсь, надо отнести спальню к этой девочке, дочери. Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. 
It seems like a pretty innocent lie. I doubt he'll notice anyway. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Eric must have come home early. But why? Сейчас узнаем. Эрик, Эрик, Эрик. Ну, давай, двигайся. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What, what happened? Was there an accident? Yes, you could call it that. But if a guy walks into a busy restaurant during dinner service and detonates a bomb strapped to his chest, then I think the term terrorist attack is more fitting. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? I didn't watch the news. We had cartoons on all day. You should pay more attention to what's happening to this country, Susan. I could have died, and you wouldn't even know. Did you get hurt? No, not really. But the cab smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop. And all of a sudden, some van hits me from the back. I hear my passengers screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then, another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. All right. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No. I just need a drink. I can wash later. Shit. Are you gonna get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Так. Hello? It's me again. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. I love you, Susan. Susan? You still there? Please, say something. Anything.
Thanks, but we're already insured with someone else. I... Excuse me? Susan, it's me. The only thing I'm trying to sell to you is my heart. We won't be needing pet insurance either. What are you talking about? Would you like my husband to talk to you? He's just come home from work. He usually deals with insurance companies. Will you just put the phone down? Once you start talking to them, these insurance bloodsuckers will never leave you alone. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Just hang up, Susan. All right. Take care, then. Then the arguing started. It slowly grew into something bigger, something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies and singing and playing and washing. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. If you'd spent more time with our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. So pardon me, there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Because, you know what? The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. She better gets used to it, because this is just the start. There's gonna be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family! I will make the rules, and I'll get the respect I deserve. I'm done talking to you. Of course you are. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Not to a single word I've ever said! Right, here we go. It's not you. It's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too! I'm not drunk! I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan! Full of shit! How can you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt! Didn't you forget something? I'm your wife! I'm the mother of your child! Doesn't that mean anything to you at all? 
A wife and a mother? Why don't you start acting like one? When was the last time you showed me that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. I love her to bits, I swear I do. But I want to have a wife too. When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex. Oh, I knew it. Is that what bothers you so much? Is it? Of course it fucking bothers me. Does it not bother you that we never have time for each other? Look, we are new parents. It's always hard. All couples go through it, I heard. Well, fuck this. I heard different. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? So I'm an idiot now, am I? You're... You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? Pack your bags and leave me alone. You're throwing me out. This is my fucking flat! I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! I'm not going anywhere! Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, alright? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. Let me go. I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. That's right. Just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. Fine. Never mind. I haven't done anything wrong! Of course not! Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah? Then why are we here now, fighting? This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old? What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan! You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge! Stop it! Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing, and choking.
the next time we saw her. When we found her, she... she was... After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked bad. Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. What do you want from us? Are you deaf? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron! Mitzi! Leave her alone. Don't you dare! No! Take me, instead! Take me. You hurt my friend. I... I will. Да, ну так-то. Начало такое вот интересное. What? What's going on? You're letting me go? Just like that? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? What do you want me to do? I don't understand!
Stand still, Mitzi. I'm gonna be right back with another one, and I'll cut you down, all right? Легенда о кошке вдове. really going to do it, aren't we? Yes, Mitzi. You will finally get your closure. Maybe I will get mine too. Did you take that map with you? Yes. We can always refer to it if we get lost. I've lived in this building for many years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Once we're sure it's not them, it might give us a clearer picture of how far we've got. Okay. Good luck, Mrs. A. Mitzi. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident, it must have been pretty tough for you. No, I'm good. Never felt better, Mrs. A. Погнали. Так. Посмотреть. Так. 
Так. Ага. Can you unlock this door for us? Let's see. Blimey. You don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just... beyond me. Why would anyone need one of these here? It must have something to hide. Is there any other way we can get inside, then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic grill. Or a key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. Да, на первый этаж идем тогда, да? По очереди. Окей. Так. Ладно, осматриваем диван. И... Пробуем. Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Do you mind? No. Sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Гаечный ключ. Ага, в ту комнату мы пробраться не можем, да? Ага. 
Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Mrs. A, what does depression feel like? Well, it feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. That's funny. Most of the time I feel like I want to live, but I have to die. Эта квартира, походу, понадобится, да? Плохая идея, там собака. Так, третий этаж идем, да? А где третий? Квартиру взяли, третий этаж, блин. That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady.
Okay. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. They just want some attention, Mitzi. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Let me get my hair again. You think he'll be back with a shotgun? Don't be silly. This isn't America. Uh, I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself I wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no. With all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, oh, wait. Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Unless he's not alone. You should ask him about that before we go. Can I help you? No, thanks. We're fine. Have you found some batteries? What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before, I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Do you live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year. But I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning, all by myself. So... you do live alone, then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning, all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I, I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about... I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. I can still cook my bed, and, and I make my dinner every morning, all by myself. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But 
He can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. Так. Собака, да? Четвертый этаж. Так. No. What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. All right. It's just a trip to use, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch and we're back on. Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Женщина, значит. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. 
flat too. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. Then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are, actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time, actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's 12 years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. Okay. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't hold him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Okay. I have to go now. See you later. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? No, okay, okay. You be more careful, nosy old bitch. Идем, значит, на первый этаж, да? Так. Четвертый, третий, второй, первый, да? Hey, 
Look at this. Valerian root extract. Cats love it. It has the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely crazy for it. You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. Oh, what a shame they moved out. Dark. Погнали. Тряпку. Так, потом валерьянку. Come on, guys. The body moved over here. Так. Спускаемся опять в холл, что ли? Where are they? This is A. <laughs> well, aren't they quick? This dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort a dog out. Your dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cat's upset him again. Poor William. I'd better check on him. be all right please these cats can easily outrun some old mutt going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind it. It's too heavy. I don't think that's gonna work. Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. Stand back. The door everyone's forgotten about. Wow, you're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. Mm. Yeah, perhaps I am. Dark. Okay, идем внутрь в подвал, да? Подвал, подвал. Так, трубы. Взять удлинитель. Ага. С 
стоп, а если... Вот так. Заработает? Окей. Тихо, перестань еще. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from flat six, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the cat widow? The cat widow? No, I can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Do you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Okay. So what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Red paint. There's a tin here. We could use that. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. Mm -hmm. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Так, а сейчас это можно сделать? Да, можно. Пять первый этаж. Так. Ага. Окей, стена так стена. Так, а что она про трубы говорит?
Dark. Look, she left the door open. Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can. No, I... It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay. I'm not really surprised, are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. Da, квартира. Два вычеркнута. Осталось три, шесть, семь, восемь, да? Let's go. Пойдем снова в первую квартиру. Словно мы идем туда. Так. Берем швабру и используем. I'll try to catch that thing for you, all right? It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. Da da da, okay. Так. Эй, подожди. Дай мне сфокусироваться. Это я уже понял. I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Так, мы нашли третий, да? Так, а удлинитель можно сразу присобачить сюда? Нет. Ладно. Пошли тогда в третью квартиру. Третья это на втором этаже, да? Do you want to go in first? Come on in. The place seems empty. The fire. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Bingo! We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. Yes, Libra. No, no, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. 
Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Mm -hmm. Why don't we go together? I really don't like this place. You said you haven't seen this guy for ages. He probably doesn't even live here anymore. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen. I'll be back before you know it. I'm an idiot. But fine, I'll wait here. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep yourself busy. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I come back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just... A little experiment of mine. Okay, whatever. Now go. We haven't got all day. Why do I always end up in places like this? Допустим. звонит чего блять remember the whole susan Что, телефон больше не звонит? Или чё? Remember the whole, Susan. That damn hole. That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. Seriously? That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. What is that? Right. I'm done waiting. I need to leave right now. Ладно, попробуем свалить. Remember the whole Susan. Да я понял, валим, типа. Чё? Damn, the door handle just came off in my hand. How am I gonna get out of here now? Да давай уже вали. Что ты творишь? Митси! Митси, are you there? Shit. Careful now. Careful now. No, no, no. Давай. Используем на этой, блин. Так. Mm -hmm. 
тут мы ничего сделать не можем, да? Окей. Ну что, применяем. Что делать-то? Применяй ее, блядь. Да. Войди. Алян Салян Хилл, блядь. supposed to be here why did you have to ruin everything what have you done you stupid evil bitch who are you I... I'm the gas inspector. There's a leak somewhere? Is that so? I can't smell any gas here. How odd. I think you're lying. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. Shut up! I won't let you trick me again! Did they send you? They think I'll fall for these lies, but, but I'm smarter than this. I know what you're up to. My friend knows that I'm here, and she will call the police. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you. Right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just leave. Very slowly. I won't cause you any trouble at all, okay? Stay where you are. Don't come any closer. I would never hurt her. I only wanted to. I was trying to help for God's sake. Look, I don't care. I just want you to let me go. Get back here right now and give me that blasted key! Так, мы типа упали, да?
Так. Come in, come in. There's no need to be afraid. I, I don't buy it. Come in already. I might need your help with something. Сейчас я подойду, дорогие друзья, секунду подождите. My help. I thought you wanted to kill me. Why would I want to kill you? You must be mistaken. Who do you think I am? A self-obsessed schizophrenic wife killer. What? You thought I... No. 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 I, I never hurt my wife. All this time I've been trying to save her. Well, fine. Let's say I believe you. Why wouldn't you? Look around you. This is not normal, okay? If you don't mind, I'll only trust myself for now. 
As a matter of fact, I'm not sure if I can trust even myself. Where are we? I really can't remember the name of this town, but I'm pretty sure the hotel is called Quiet Haven. This is a hotel? I know. It's a joke. They shouldn't charge half the price for this dump if you ask me. This is all just a dream, right? It's funny that you would say that. I've already heard that somewhere today. But if this is a dream, I've been asleep for a very long time. I'm sorry. I just want to leave. Yes, I understand. I wouldn't stay here myself if it was my decision to make. I'm stuck here too. You see, my wife Ivy is in the room to the left. She's a little fragile at the moment. She said she was going to do her makeup, but it's been a week now, maybe longer. Every time I try to talk to her, she just gets angry, and she tells me she's not done yet. I've cooked her a meal, but she ignores me. She never likes when I cook. But what's that got to do with me? If you talk to her, I'll show you the way out, I promise. Just go in there and tell her, tell her she looks fine. She's always so careful about looking perfect. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. Goodbye, Joe. Hello? Misery? Is that what you said? Hello? Misery. I is that what you said? So, your wife's been in that room for a week? Now that you bring this up, I think it might have been a month. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time, but we really have to go now. I think there's a big storm coming. I feel it in my bones. Oh, Goodbye, so Joe. Good. Так, а что нам надо сделать? Чего? В тот шкаф, что ли? Серьезно? Yeah. 
что теперь так? Так, два раза правый. Раз. Два. Потом. Один раз левый. Один раз левый. И два раза правый. No, no, no! This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind. Do it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now! Kill me if you want, but I won't do that. You're with her? I should have guessed. I can't trust you. You're better off dead. Are you alright, Mrs. A? You look like you've seen a ghost. I... something strange happened. Maybe I am mad after all. Don't be silly. I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. Time drags when you've got nothing to do, I guess. I see you found the laptop cable. That's good news, because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. So? Did you? I... yeah. Sure. Great! Now don't tell me, was it? Carrot. Huh. Yes. A carrot. That's amazing. How did you know? That's the secret. I can't tell you that, Mrs. A. Or else it wouldn't be a magic trick anymore. Yay, it works every time. Okay, okay. Don't get too big-headed now. Sure, but... I am the greatest! Look, I only said it was carrot to be nice. Mm -hmm. In fact, I thought about celery. I wasn't going to say, but you leave me no oh. choice. Yeah, right. Yes. Now, let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy. Гребаная осень. Так, холл. Так, идем в подвал. Ну. Под 
подвал, 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 подвал. Берем отвертку. взяли поднимаемся ну давай так стопы просим лица do you think you can unlock this mailbox i think i can most certainly unlock this mailbox then do it quickly someone can come in any minute A little room for the master locksmith. Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Master criminal, if anything. Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Dark. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you, I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Так, четвертый этаж, по-моему, да? Погнали. Coming! Right, step back. I'll handle this. Hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. Uh, hi, Pauline. Um, how are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and ask like this, so she offered to come along. 
She is my favorite auntie. Thank you so much again, Auntie Susan. No problem, sweetie. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. How old is your daughter? She's nearly six months. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. Please come in too, Auntie Susan. I could really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes, well, you'll... Okay, I'll come. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? Dark. Uh -huh. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she is a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Melissa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Where's Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me asking? I... I'd rather not talk about it. It's personal. As far as I'm concerned, Alyssa hasn't got a father. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's alright, but I just don't like talking about it. I'm sure you'll understand. Uh -huh. Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. Uh -huh. There just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. I have a great okay. connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I... Yes, definitely. But... I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? 
Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... Oh. I stroked a filthy-looking dog. Oh. If that's the case, then... I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously? Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. You need a bit of time? Почему мы не можем Hello. Ah, во. Hello. Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitters Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. Huh. Ah, что за... Так, почему там мы на кухню заглянуть не можем? А почему... Это странно. Ага. Осмотреть. Вот те самые...
Ага. Окей. Значит, что сгодно. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told them to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! Feeling really sick all of a sudden. Hmm. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please. What if I faint? I I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. It's that dirty dog you were touching, isn't it? Oh, poor thing. While I'm done that. It's you. Again. Hello. Is this flat number eight? My name is Rita Tickle from the <laughs> Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? I've told you already. You're too late. You have? I thought I got the wrong door last time. It's the right door. I was looking for a nanny, but I'm not anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You were looking for a nanny. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioral psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, that sounds really great, but I'd like you to go away now. You don't need a nanny. Nope. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <sighs> You're an evil person. <laughs> You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Да, 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 вали. Тётка. Yeah. I've already been to hell. Mm -hmm. They don't want me there. Так, по-моему, надо выключить счётчик. Давай быстрей. These scissors seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Well, not that again. What happened to the lights? I'm... I'm terrified of the dark. I, 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 I can't move. Oh God, can't breathe. Calm down, it's all right. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, I think I'm going to faint. Fine, just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. Right. Let's do it. 
Is that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um, no idea. Maybe it's a blackout, like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see. I don't get it. The cable's been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some other time. I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical store that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Well, it was great seeing you, but we're going to leave now. Hello. Who's that? My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? I've never seen her before in all my life. Dark. Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No. Of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Uh -huh. Dark. Um... Окей, какую там квартиру надо в седьмую? Погнали. Так, попросить Митси. Now that he's gone, we can get inside. Yes, let's do that. I'll close my eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. I'd never. You've really hurt my feelings now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. There. Job done. Jesus, are these... Mrs. A. They're just Halloween masks. Oh, good. That's good. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head... Растение. Растение. Так.
Ага. Uh -huh. So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? Так, это получается на какой этаж нам надо? На первый. четвертый этаж и по моему одна квартира что ли осталась так, по моему да right I should be able to use that computer now could you give me five minutes Mrs A sure why not I'll keep an eye on the door. Uh -huh. It's not him either. God damn it! комната Потом ножницы. Да, блять, куда ты? На манекен. Ну. We need to make some adjustments. Now this is a dress worthy of the cat widow. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? Ha ha, bloody ha. Why don't you just shut up? Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. This is it. We've got all we need. Great! Are you going to tell me about the Cat Widow now? Yes, it's story time, Mitzi.
The legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. He hated his neighbors too, and his job. And when it rained, he'd curse and smash things. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. But trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day, all but one. The mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore. She lost everything that day, her beautiful children and her proud husband. Her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then, eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her, her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger, rage even, her last craving before she drowned was for revenge, for blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed, a cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat, and her face, white, rotten, face of a corpse. Those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers. But there was someone she had to see first. Someone special. Someone she really hated the most. As the evening came, it was strangely quiet in the man's flat. As he lived alone, he usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad, because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. There was nobody there. He almost felt disappointed. But before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. On a nearby wall, there was a giant shadow of a cat.
he stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. <laughs> Someone wrote cat killer on his door. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was, running at crazy speed, remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong. And that something had entered his home now, too. He hoped he was just imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. Cat Widow is here was written all over the wall. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. There was a photo of a black cat set as screensaver. He remembered this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off but no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished, the part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor. Was there someone there with him? His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of there. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper, more like a purr. She was there in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. She came closer, like a ghost, and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him, his knees go weak, 
his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then he fainted. Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will, once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself, and I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam, because it definitely isn't Brian. I've searched through his laptop, and all I found was a load of porn. Let's cross him off the list. Well, that means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I think we need to sleep on it. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right, we need some sleep. Really wish there was an elevator in this building. What's that? A note? What does it say, Mrs. A? You will not believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Do not fear. Eye of Adam. That vibe. That's the old guy. Can't be. It can't be him. I guess we'll find out. At midnight. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. It's just you and me, my love. No one will find us here. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be all right. I will always love you. You know that. I'm gonna make you all better. Кормите тролля, седьмая глава. Чего?
сохранится 127, по-моему, да? Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's I of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room. Staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. But what choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. Uh -huh. Так, сто двадцать восемь. Так, ну тогда мы же вместе. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. Take it away! Get rid of it! He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? Oh, 
God. Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. It's too late! Shit. Oh, shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No. No, I can't! You've got to! This is your only chance! I... no. I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. You've got a date, and I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it! Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you.
There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor and he butchered you like an animal. Then those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you, the way your neighbors laughed at you for years just for being different. You did not deserve all that, and yet it happened. Am I forgetting something? Oh, yes. Of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Now I know who you really are. All those feelings that I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle! It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me! You need me! We are one! No! Tomato. You were thinking about a tomato, right? Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But, I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like... If nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. 
but I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Нам дают сохраниться. Нажимаем тогда выбор 222. Смотрим первые выборы. Кто такой Адам? Я узнаю. You're... you're the eye of Adam? A pathetic, wheelchair-bound invalid? Is this a joke? You... do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? You fucking murderer! Tonight it's your turn to die. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Say something! Anything! Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Huh. Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible! He's lying to us! He's faking it! Do something! Talk for God's sake! I need you to answer me! I need to know! He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then... How did he post all that stuff online? What the? No, no. How? How did he do it? I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye. I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well... I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really is just the eye. But... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. What? You arrogant shit! I will fucking do it! Just tell me one thing. One thing! Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? Ну да, ее парня Джека.
Fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out as soon as he looks at me. You hear me? Look at me. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Aha. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. просто отруби эти компьютеры ага. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. That's exactly why I'm doing this. Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. Maybe you're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. 
Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead! Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! Yeah, happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. I care about you. Do it for me. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. From now on, I win every single day. А она не будет выключать компьютер? Странно. It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. I'll never forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. I had time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her though, every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop the night after the funeral, and there it was, a friend request. Over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes. And I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them. Tried to help. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. 
Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me, asleep, waiting, and when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. Вот такая игра, ребят. Вот такая игра. Вот она пришла на кладбище к Митси, к той самой девочке. Положила цветы на могилу. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then mm -hmm. you meet someone like Mitzi who will just smile at it all now I've forgiven the world and myself too I teach myself to smile again one day I'll get there I know I will even if it takes me not nine but nine hundred lives Такая, в принципе. 